Hello everybody, this is uh, Patrick Stockhausen here, Wealth Mind Expert, Financial Trader and Syndicate Fund Manager. So, this presentation is about the truth will set you free and make you rich. It is basically the ultimate guide of how to become consistently profitable as a trader and how to follow your trading plan with patience and discipline. Because most traders find, once they have a system, the ability to follow it, the ability to execute, the ability to wait for their setup, the ability to do what it takes to make the money somehow disappears. Because when they paper test it, when they, they back test it and all those things like that, they, they don't have the ability to do it. So that's what this presentation is all about. And it's all about the mindset that builds wealth and creates financial freedom. So let us begin. That is the usual disclaimer which I have to show you. Um, I'm not going to read that. I'm sure you know what it says, but basically I just want to say this is uh, for educational purposes and nothing that I say is for psychological treatment. Nothing I say to you is going to be about um, how you can definitely guarantee to make yourself money. Okay, so let us begin. So that's me, Patrick Stockhausen. And so who is this webinar for? Listen, if you're a trader and you've purchased or you've created a full trading system with a full set of rules, but you're having problems executing it flawlessly due to your lack of discipline, then this presentation is for you. Or maybe if you you don't have a system, but you're wondering why are you not rich yet, because the truth is most people don't come to trading because they love trading. Most people come to this game because they want to have money to become financially free to do the things that are truly most important to them. If you're wondering why you're not in that situation, then this presentation is for you. If you've been trying to create a system for years and somehow you can't get yourself to do the things that it takes to become financially free or, or create a system that successfully extracts money from the markets, then this is for you. And if you've just started trading and you want to focus on what really matters, what history has proven, what the most success financially successful traders investors and entrepreneurs and if you read the famous book by Jack Schwager a good friend of mine market wizards all the best traders in the world will tell you this key thing that I'm about to tell you in this whole seminar so understand this what I'm going to share with you in this seminar in this webinar rather is not found in one place less than one percent of the people in the world know this and how to profit from this information I personally studied this, applied this information that I'm about to share with you, and it enabled me to become financially free in less than one year. I've told other people this information, it's enabled them to do the same, and this is very rarely taught. Yet, most millionaires, most multimillionaires, most billionaires, traders, investors, and entrepreneurs have all publicly stated that this thing, this subject, is responsible more than anything for creating their wealth. We have traders like Ed Sakota, the world's most successful trader, who grew an account by 250,000% returns. That's like taking every 10,000, turning it to 25 million. Said trading success is 60% psychology, 30% position sizing, and only 10% your system. We've got people like John Paul Getty who said to become a millionaire you have to learn to think like a millionaire you got Warren Buffett second sometimes fluctuates to third richest man in the world said that unless you can manage your mind and emotions do not expect to be able to manage your money so listen let's start at the beginning you see every year hundreds of millions of people around the world particularly in January and February set a goal and they believe this is the year I'm going to change my entire life. So you understand most people as I said at the beginning come to financial trading not because they love the financial markets most people don't come to trading because they love markets and trading no. The prospect of the ability to make a lot of money from their home simply by clicking the mouse is very attractive to most people. So if it's not Trading what they're bringing to trading. What is it then? What brings people to trading? Well, the whole idea that you can have an additional monthly income. So you can have your time freedom, your financial freedom, more time with your family. And then there's the six primary fears which forces people to seek additional income. Things like maybe you've got rising health care costs and living costs. Or maybe you're 
running out of money as you get older or maybe you've got rising debt concerns or the job and the income insecurity. I, I recently saw that most Americans are afraid to take five days holiday straight in case they get fired by their boss because they're seen not loving their job or loyal to the company. Or maybe you've got no savings or shrinking savings because you're having to deplete it. Or your retirement fund's not performing. I don't know which one of those is most appropriate to you. But here's what happens. People come from that background and then they think this. All right, just give me the magic money-making system and I will solve all my challenges in life. However, let's look at the reality of this situation. You see, people come to this game excited about these possibilities. However... They accumulate the knowledge, they accumulate some sort of system, they place a trade or two, they feel discomfort, they feel the joy, they feel the pain, emotions all over the place. Suddenly, they're unable to execute when they get a signal. They hesitate, they jump in early, they get in late, they, they, they don't take the stock trades when they're supposed to. They kind of, they cherry pick them, right? So people then go into this endless loop. They go from system to system. Let me learn some more. So, and people hate, they go, I don't like losing. I hate losing at trading. So they study more and think about the system. They think the system's the problem. So they need, and because they need to solve their money problems and money challenges, they study even more. So what do they do? They change the system. They change the markets. They change the instrument, right? But none of this ever solves the problem. Then they start to think, well, you know what? It's not me, it's not what I've got, it's the economy, it's the brokers, it's the institution, it's my partner, it's my kids. You know what, it's those market makers, they're manipulating it. It's not my fault, it's their fault. So here's what happens, people then start thinking, you know what, if I could just get a high probability entry signal, and I appreciate you thinking, this isn't nice, right? This isn't nice, they think, if I could get a high probability entry signal, I believe I'll be profitable. Or they start thinking, you know what? Making consistent money as a trader is, is all about the system or the market or, or it's the instrument. Or they start thinking, you know what, there must be a way, believe it or not, people think there must be a way to take a trade without having to take a loss. And the reason why they have that thought is because if I said to you, get in this trade, it might work, it might not, there's the odds, most people won't take it. Most people won't take a trade if they think it could lose. So they think there must be a way to trade without having to take a loss. And all these sorts of things like they find themselves planning trades that they never take or they take trades that they never planned. Or they, as I just said, they wouldn't put a trade on if they think it was going, wasn't going to be a winner. Or they feel betrayed by their system. They feel betrayed by the markets. Or they have a problem pulling the trigger and all those sorts of things like that. So here is the thing. No matter how hard these people try, no matter how much they learn, no matter how many changes they make, most people, 97% of them, cannot achieve consistent financial success in their trading because the harsh reality of this industry is 97% of traders and investors with a proven money-making system will lose their money. That is the fact. And I always say this. Think about this, right? If you met somebody who looked like you, somebody that sounded like you, somebody that behaved like you, somebody that was exactly like you in every single way, would you ever give them your money to trade and you go away on holiday for two years? Would you expect to have more money or less money? Not, most Every time I ask this, 97% of a room say no. You get the one or two hands putting their hands up per 100 people saying, I would do that. Because the truth is, as Brad Barber discovered, testing millions of people's, uh, going through millions of people's accounts, only 1% of people are called predictably profitable. In other words, most traders will be better off working at Burger King. So you have to say to yourself, all right then, right Patrick, if the route to financial success was in the, you know, if it was in these readily available systems or, or the seminars or the CDs or the DVDs, why is it that 97% of people that buy this stuff never end up any further ahead after 5, 10, even 20 years? Well, the thing is this. If you, as a successful, as an individual who's got to this point who wants to probably change your financial life, I'll say this to you. If you focus on what the crowd is focused upon, you're going to get the exact 
same results as the crowd. So let me tell you about my background, my experiences, where I'm coming from, so that you can put this whole thing into context. You see, I grew up very poor in a family with six children, have very little financial resources between us. And when I went to school, my teacher said to me, you know what, Patrick, you look stupid, you sound stupid, and you probably are stupid. That's not exactly the nicest thing to hear. It's not exactly the good for one's self-esteem, one for good uh, programming, oneself for a phenomenal future. I used to look at myself in the mirror going, you know what, Patrick, you probably are stupid, you look stupid, and you sound stupid. Right. Now, in the 80s in the UK, the government was selling shares. The government sold shares uh, pri through privatizing um, all the national industries, all the national companies. And my father made a fortune from doing this, and he started getting into stocks and shares. And I tried to do this, and guess what? I didn't make a penny doing it. And I think the primary reason was because I had going around my head, you look stupid, you sound stupid, and you probably are stupid. And I had people saying to me, you know what, money is the root of all evil. And you know what's easier for, a, for, a, for a, a, a camel to go through the needle, an eye of a needle, than a rich man to get through the gates of heaven. And, and, and to make a lot of money, you've got to do something bad. And, you know, all the things that most people hear. Now, one year... Whilst looking at a newspaper, I saw this course advertised called You Can Remember by Dr. Bruno First. It was an amazing course. Transform my ability to remember information. But what was better than this course was what they sent me with this afterwards, subsequently. They sent me a series of books. They sent me things like Napoleon Hill's work, The Laws of Success. They sent me Think and Grow Rich. They sent me Charles Hannell's book, The Master Key. And I started researching this information because I thought it was amazing. And I thought, you know what? If I could read this apply this, teach this, do this, get the results of this. I won't look stupid, I won't sound stupid, I won't be stupid. So I applied as much as I possibly could. And by the time I was 33, here's what happened. I ended up graduating from university with a degree in finance, an honours degree. I set up a massive entertainment industry a company which made me incredibly financially free. I became a network television TV presenter. I became one of the co-leaders and the teachers in the psychology of peak performance with the leaders in the field. I became voted one of the most eligible bachelors here in the UK. I became financially free and I set up a private fund then I trade other traders' money for them. And on top of that, I mean, I've been associated with some of the biggest names. I've worked with, co-worked with some of these guys, created products with these people here. People like Van Thorpe, people like Jack Swagger, people like John Nigerian, people from Tasty Trade. And that's what it did to me. Now, the funny thing was this. I had people saying to me, hold on a second, hold on a second, Patrick. How did you do that? How did you make that money in that situation? How did you do that? And I'd say to them, look, simple. All you've got to do is this, 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 and this. I showed them blatant money-making opportunities. And do you know what? They either couldn't see it or they couldn't do it. And what was strange was the more I focused on how the mind was the key principle that transformed your financial life, the more money I made. And the more they focused, didn't focus on it, the more they couldn't see it, the more they couldn't do it, the more they couldn't act upon it. So I'm going to say this. If I can do this, looking stupid, sounding stupid, being stupid, then I'm telling you right now, you can do this. And I'll say this to you now. In this seminar, in this webinar, I'm going to show you how a father with negative beliefs about money was struggling to make money and how what we, I did with him, particularly exactly what I did with him, and he was able to win the money game and start making 50000 a year trading only one hour per day. I'm going to show you how a mother, who would class, as a, class herself as a trading disaster, transformed into what she calls a trading robot, went from losing 10,000 per month to making 24,000 per month by how she did this something called mental rehearsal. I'm going to show you how I transformed my own perception of myself, enabling me to become a, a network TV presenter, financially free, and managing a private fund. I'm going to show you how another person was hundreds of thousands in debt. This person's quite well known for this because it's become quite viral like this. Went from one week from moving into a trailer park to becoming financially free, making 100% per year in her IRA, and is now in the top three, maybe the top two now, of a Fortune 500 company. And that's what I'm going to tell you in this. So you have to think this. What do the top 1% to 3% of financially successful traders have in common? 
that enables them to follow their plan, execute and profit from the markets where most fail. To answer that question, you're going to have to consider the following thing, right? We all know that traders is like this thing which we do on our own. It's a, we feel isolated from other traders. We seek company from other people. But because of this, you're under massive psychological stress. But people think, you know what? I've worked hard for this money. I funded my account. This is never going to happen to me. I'm not like everybody else, Patrick. I, you just give me the system. Oh, just give me the money. Just give me the money. I'm, I'm going to be different from everybody else. Well, think about this. I don't know if you know this, but in Tibet, they once gathered all the money and redistributed it to everybody so everybody had the exact same sum of money, right? But you know what happened? Within three months, the rich went back to being rich. The poor went back to being poor. So they did it again. Three times they did this experiment, and every time the result was exactly the same. Every time the poor back went back to being poor and the rich got the money back. It's the same as lottery winners. Statistics show that 70% of people that win the lottery end up in a worse situation than when they started with it. So even if you were given the money, statistically, you would end it back. It's since the dawn of time, and I'll just show you since in 1920s, it's generally, that's why they say 97% of people. It's because 1% to 3% of people are the people that achieve success in anything. Only 1% to 3% throughout time have a millionaire or more status. It has not changed. You might think there's more millionaires than there, are, than there used to be. No, not proportionately. The same percentage of people, the same type of people that think in the exact same way are the people that acquire all the wealth. It is not more people are buying systems, but aren't more people actually making more money? Not at all. It is the same percentage of people with the same background, which is why you could have two traders who went to the same group in the same neighborhood, went to the same school, have the exact same education. They could sit side by side in the same trade and investment seminar. And that's where the similarities end. One could go off and become incredibly successful and wealthy with the system. And the other, statistically, more likely than not, when you're in any seminar, you look around it there and someone's learned, teaching you a system, 97% of the people that buy that system are going to lose money. So you could have the greatest methodology, you could have the greatest techniques, the greatest system, the greatest strategy, but if you're not thinking correctly, if you're not thinking how people who acquire wealth think, uh, someone just said the market isn't about, the market isn't psychology. Listen, let's imagine that's true, but you have a personal psychology and your actions will determine what you do. So your psychology will determine whether you win or lose. So if the market isn't psychology, understand you have a psychology and it is you that has to execute your plan and it is you which determines your financial future. Which is why you get people that have a phenomenal system and they can trade it on paper, but yet when they come to trading it real, they somehow, they cannot replicate the level of success that they achieved while trading paper. And now you understand why. But understand this, if your subconscious mind, which is what determines all your actions that you're taking, whether you become rich, financially successful, follow your plan, make a load of money, what system you buy, what system you don't buy, what you create, what you don't create, that is in your unconscious mind. And your unconscious mind will has a, like a thermostat. You know, if the, the room set to 40 degrees and it gets hotter than that, it brings the room back down. Or if it gets cold, it brings it back up. You have a financial thermostat. And if your financial thermostat is set for you to make 50000 a year, that's exactly what you'll get. And if you make more than that one year, you'll make less the following year, so it averages out at 50. In the same way, right? Now, understand, these financial thermostats are completely different between a job and trying to do set up a business and trying to trade. If your financial thermostat outside of a job is to lose 25000 that's exactly what you're going to end up with at the end of the year. So if you want to know if your mindset is set, is your mindset set to follow your plan and be consistently profitable or end up like 97% of people, think about this and just answer these questions. 
what is your trading account right now? What's it like right now? Because you don't need to look any further than your current results to see if your psychology is set to be a winner. And if, it's, if you haven't started trading, look at your bank accounts. Look how you manage your finances. What is it like right now? What is the shape of your equity curve? Right? Are you experiencing consistent or inconsistent results in your trading and investing? Is taking all the trades that your system generates hard or easy for you to do? Do you stick with one strategy, a few, or change around all the time? Do you cut your losses and let your profits run, or are you doing the opposite like most people? Are you disciplined into your trading or not? Have you even created a system? Are you taking, you know, just going, oh, there's a trade that could go up, green bar, buy, red bar, sell? Do you get emotional when you trade? Because the fact is that there's a lot of dangers, as I said earlier, facing traders and investors. The, and these are things what cause them to fail. There's a fear and expectation of the, the trade outcome. And don't worry, I, talk, I tell you the solutions to these things. I just want you to understand what is the real territory that you're playing this game on. People have this fear of like they don't have a trading plan that fits them or their goals or their beliefs, so they're unconsciously sabotaging themselves. Their emotions are causing inconsistency. They have an inability to grow their equity curve, no matter what they study or they learn, so they have that, that thermostat in their mind. They have negative beliefs about themselves, money and trading, or they have a desire to be right, or their fear of losing, a fear of missing out, a fear of leaving money on the table, or a fear of being wrong. So I want you to embrace this fact. One day will not come until you change your mindset. If you have a winning system and you're not successful following your plan right now and consistently winning, you're kidding yourself that one day, one month, one year, one decade, things are going to change. It simply means you don't have the mindset to achieve it. Unless you work on changing your mindset, you're going to end up with the exact same financial outcome of 97% of the world. I don't mean just traders, the world. There is a universal mindset, values and beliefs of successful people, financially successful people, and there's a universal mindset of the mindset of people who are unfinancially successful. And it is unfortunate that most of the world think in, in, in the way that doesn't generate financial freedom. So, you, you have to start thinking, okay, right, I'm ready to take on this new mindset. But you have to begin to start by identifying what needs to change. And as I said before, if your mindset isn't set for success, nothing you know, nothing you do, or nothing you learn will make any difference to you. Furthermore, you know what? If you do make money from financial trading or investing, statistically, you'll end up giving it right back to the market unless you change it. And this mindset that I speak about, that successful people have, this is the very reason why. When self-made millionaires and billionaires, billionaires like Donald Trump, you hear this all the time, they lose the money, but somehow they get it back within a short amount of time. And the reason is because they don't lose the thing that's most important to the financial success. What is that? The mindset. That is the key thing that is critical for your trading success. I'm not talking trading psychology. I'm about you and your personal psychology that you bring to trading. So you have to understand what is traditionally taught to people or what people seek first doesn't work. People are focusing upon which stock should I buy, when should I buy, when should I sell it, which trading system, where and when should I buy this property, which market niche should I focus on for my business, oh, so do I get in here, do I get out there? It doesn't work. 97% of people have tried this and it doesn't work, which is why, and I'll see again, why some of the wealthiest people in the world will tell you this. People like Clement Stone, who took $100, turned it into billions, said it was all about the mindset. He studied and worked hand in hand, one on one with Napoleon Hill. And Napoleon Hill helped him to transform his mindset to make billions. Which is why Bill Bartman, once the 25th richest man in the world, said that the secret to financial success is simple. It's all about mastering your psychology, your self-esteem, and learning how to set goals, which is why Frank Gustra, at 19 years old, studied the psychology of building wealth, and at 22 was a millionaire. So what determines your financial success? Where you're going to end up 
How much money are you going to make from your trading system? Whether you're going to be financially free is going to be all about the results that you get, the consistent results. Those results are going to be based on your actions. Those actions are going to be based on your decisions. Those decisions are based on the emotional state that you're in. You don't make good decisions when you're feeling fear of losing, missing out, being wrong, or leaving money on the table. The master of your state, being in the zone, trading in the zone, right, is where you make good decisions. That's where you take the right actions. That is what gives you the results. That is what determines your financial destiny. But what puts you in that state? It's the following things. What do you focus on and what, how do you interpret things? What do you believe you deserve? What do you think is possible? What do you think you're capable of doing? Your beliefs about money, trading, and investing. What is your reason for building wealth? What is your reason for trading? If your reason is to pay your bills, let me tell you this right now. Every time you lose, you're going to have a hard time taking a loss because it means something to you. Why are you trading? There's a reason that you need to have that enable you to execute and not be worried about the losing so you can execute flawlessly, effortlessly and reach your system's potential. Then you have to go, what are my values? Your values, values being what's most important to you. Successful traders and investors have a set of values that they place uh, above other things. And if trading and investing in your unconscious mind, I don't mean what you're consciously choosing. If financial trading investing is lower on your values than it needs to be, you've got no chance. And then there's your identity. And I'll say this, you do not get in this world what you want. You only get more of who you are. You have to be the right person to do the right things to get the results that you want. So understand this. Some people, because there's money everywhere, and I'm telling you this, there is money everywhere. Some people see this sentence as, Opportunity is nowhere, but yet some people see this sentence as opportunity is now here for you to financially prosper. Because the truth is money is absolutely everywhere. Money making situations are around you today. But the only reason you're not seeing it is because your brain is filtering it in or out. So understand this. Right now in your life today with the right mindset, you would see a thousand pounds or dollar money making opportunity. A ten thousand dollar money making opportunity today, or a hundred thousand. So that is what we're going to be talking about in this webinar. And I understand that's quite a long intro to this. And I'm going to tell you some real meat in a second, right? How to actually use this. In this webinar, I'm going to tell you, teach you four things, and I'll go through these. We're going to talk about how mental rehearsal is key, how your beliefs are key, how your identity is key, and how your values are key. Now. Let's talk about mental rehearsal. I don't know if you know who this basketball player is. You should do. <laughs> right? But here's the point. In a commercial, he had to miss the shot, the basket. They had to shoot the commercial seven times because he accidentally kept getting it in. And the reason being is because in his mind, he had mentally rehearsed it going in so many times that when he let the ball release from his hands, he mentally saw it going in. His actions could not go against what he was actually seeing in his mind and he kept getting it in. His autopilot thing was to see it in his mind first and then his body would follow and do exactly what he'd seen to do. It took them seven times for him to miss it because he was hardwired for a pattern of success. Li Chi Kong was captured during the Chinese Revolution. Seven years he went without playing the piano. He comes back, plays a concert. His fans say, oh my God, he was better than he ever was before he went in there. How is that possible? And do you know how? He said, because while I was inside, I literally mentally rehearsed playing the piano every single day. So by the time he came to do the real thing, he was a thousand times better. I used to work with some of the world's best golfers. I don't know if you follow golf, but I used to work with some of the Ryder Cup golfers. And this was one of the key things that we did to transform their game, their mental rehearsal. How does this work? Simple. Listen, when you mentally rehearse something, and which is why I'm saying you need to be mentally rehearsing your trades, your setups, your entry, your exits, your stops, your profit taking, it creates a belief. Right? Now, here's what happens. Here's what, now, let me tell you the reality of what most people do. They mentally rehearse losing money. They mentally rehearse, they're going, and they're not consciously doing it, they're not aware of it, they're, they're seeing themselves losing, they're seeing themselves missing out, they're seeing themselves leaving money on the table, they're seeing themselves being wrong. So this creates a belief. So how much of their potential do they tap into? Hardly anything. What actions do they take? 
all the wrong ones because they've just mentally rehearsed this thing. What happens in their result? Oh my God, I knew that was going to happen. I knew I was going to be wrong. I knew I was going to lose. I knew I was going to miss out. This reinforces the belief that's happening to less of their potential. They take even worse actions. They get a worse result. What happens? They get one of those downward spiraling equity curves. Understand, this is the same circle which creates results. When you take hold of your psychology and you mentally rehearse what you're supposed to do, mentally rehearse your setup, mentally rehearse your entry, mentally rehearse your stop, mentally rehearse managing the trade, mentally rehearse taking profits off the table, you create a belief that when you see yourself succeed and then imagine it in how you're supposed to do it, you then makes you tap into your more, more your potential. This makes you take better actions. This makes you get a better result. Tip one, mentally rehearse everything, right? See, do it from your mind's eye. This will enhance your trading results. Let me tell you this right now. This is exactly how this person, just this one thing, enabled this person to go from losing 10,000 to 24,000. She said, I could not see my trade in the real-time charts when I came to trade. Only after the event, and that's a quite a common thing. So thank you, Patrick. I mentally practice trading like a golfer going around the course multiple times a day. I now see my trade and cannot help myself doing exactly what I've programmed my mind to do. Mental rehearse all your trades. Beliefs. Now, many people know of Roger Bannister. Roger Bannister, the first man to do a, what was it, a four-minute mile. Now, for years and years, people tried to do this, but nobody could do it. Roger Bannister comes along does the four minute mile. That same year Roger Bannister does it, I think it was 32 other people did it. Understand, doctors said it was physically impossible to do this, but 32 other athletes followed it. Why? Because he transformed what people believed was possible. And by having a different belief, your capabilities transform. I'll say that again. Your beliefs transform your capability and the actions that you take. You will tap into more of your potential. Let me give an example of this. The US Army used some of the skills that I use at Neuro Linguistic Programming to enhance the, the shooting skills, the qualification rate of the Army on, in their training classes. Here's what they discovered. They took the two best sharpshooters and they said, let's find out what their beliefs are of the best sharpshooters. And here's what they believed. They believe shooting well is important to my survival. Hunting is fun. Mental rehearsal is important to, for successful performance. Or if I miss a shot, then it has something to do with my performance. Understand that's taking personal responsibility. Most people don't take personal responsibility. They think it's somebody else, which is why I said at the beginning, they blame the brokers, they blame the institutions, they blame the, the, the market makers, etc. They don't take responsibility. When you don't take responsibility, you have zero control. These people had the belief that it was about them, so it gave them control. Now, here's what's interesting. Here are the beliefs of the bad sharpshooters. And you're naturally... ...see financially freeing your trading. Here's what they believe. Guns are evil. They kill people. If I shoot this weapon too many times, I might go deaf. If I miss the target, it means the gun is misaligned. You can see from this clearly how having those thoughts, having those beliefs would stop you succeeding. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Someone's come online. Um, I can't see. What, am I still showing? Right. I can hear somebody else. Just let you know. Hello there. Am I? Am I still showing? Just, just double check. Greg? Right, thanks. <laughs> right. So, how does this relate to money? How does this relate to money? Let me say this to you now. Here's what. People have bad beliefs. They have terrible beliefs about money. They go, money is the root of all evil. Or wealth is rare. Or rich people are evil. Or rich, the worst thing about money is, it's, or some of the negative things about being rich are, or my greatest fear and concern about money is. Answer those questions. Right? And you'll see what's going on around your mind surrounding money. Money is. Wealth is. Write those down. Money is. Wealth is. Rich people are. The worst thing about money is. Some of the negatives about being rich are. My greatest fear and concern about money is. 
write those down. Send me an email. I'll, I'll give you a whole host of those questions to, to let you know what you need to answer to find out where you are with your beliefs about money. Because most people will have these kind of things going around their head. They think money is the root of all evil. Most rich people probably did something bad or dishonest. Or to make them a lot of money, I won't be liked and things like this. Understand, your unconscious mind is set up to make you protect you. Right now, if your brain thinks if you have a lot, of, you must be evil to make a lot of money, or rich people are evil or horrible or not liked. Soon as you get money, guess what will happen? You'll give it away because you don't want to be evil or horrible or disliked. So your unconscious mind will program your behaviours to not follow your rules or your system. That is why people have a hard time because of what they're dealing with money to make money, but they've got negative thoughts about it. But people don't think having a job's bad or having a job's evil and all those things like that. So they're able to extract money from the job. But they end up giving it away because they don't have the right beliefs and thoughts and the values about money. So that is why they end up no better off having worked 20, 30, 40, 50 years of their life. This is why you have an equity curve. Someone that has got the right beliefs about money will have an equity curve like this. Somebody that's got... Ooh, up in there. Somebody's got the wrong beliefs about money. You get the boomers and busters. They've got some good beliefs about money. They've got some bad beliefs about money. But when they're up, the next minute they're down. They're up. And then people got nothing but negative beliefs about money. Ooh, going down. That's what happens to the equity curve. So, in this example, I'd worked with somebody. We, we extrapolate, find out what your beliefs are about money. And I'll tell you what you need to do at the end of this webinar. This person had rich people are evil and God will make me rich in his kingdom. That's what they had going around their mind. And they, couldn't, they were surprised that they couldn't succeed at trading. That, but that was, they were brought up in a religious family and that's what they were told by their family and their in-laws. And this person said to me, Hilton, said I had beliefs that money was the root of all evil. Most rich people did something bad to make money. Pursuing wealthy was not godly and a whole host of problems. Thank you, Patrick, for helping me realize I was creating a life of contradiction and free my mind was the, the very fact that the Bible references, references money in a positive light and how I was getting in my own way of financial freedom. I am now day trading, consistently profitable, growing my wealth consistently and part-time preacher in my community. So he's now whole and free. Your beliefs about money, your beliefs about trading, which I'll show you in a minute, the five that you need, will open up the gate of your actions and the possibilities and actualizing your system's potential. Now, here, if you go, I highly recommend you go and buy Mark Douglas's book, Trading the Zone. It's a brilliant book, okay? I know that's not cool to go and promote somebody else's stuff, but you know what? My mission in this world is to create as many financially free people in this world, so I want you to get the resources that you need to become financially free. Listen, these are the five beliefs that you need to take on. And Mark Douglas talks about these. these are, there's more than five, but these are a good five, okay? Anything can happen. You don't need to know what's going to happen next in order to make money in the market. There's a random distribution between winners and losers that creates a defining edge. An edge, your edge in trading, is just an indication of a high probability of one thing happening over another, and every moment in the market is unique. Now, here's the thing, right? There is a massive difference between trading and a slot machine, right? Or is there? No. There's only one difference. And do you know what it is? It's the pattern. When does the pattern show up? Do you know, in, in, in a slot machine, you put your money in first, you pull the one arm bandit thing, and if the pattern shows up, you know you're going to win. But in trading, your pattern pops up and you, you put the money in. So we're kind of hardwired to think, oh, there's my pattern. I should win. But it doesn't work like that. The pattern only emerges and you only win a percentage of the times. And when you embrace that thought, you understand that your your it's just your edge saying you statistically will make money over a series of trades. You have to think in terms of probabilities. Technical analysis, I don't care what somebody shows you, rain curve balls, whatever form of trading there is out there, right? Technical analysis is not designed to tell you what is going to happen next. It's designed to put the odds in your favor over a series of trades. So you think in blocks of 20. You are trying to make money in a block of 20 trades. So to, so to derive the benefit, the odds of your system, you have to be able to execute flawlessly. You have to accept the random distribution of the winners and the losers. This is how casinos extract money. right? So that is why people have a fear of not getting in or getting in late or, or they get in early or they don't move the stop on the because they're, not, they're thinking about the outcome of the current trade rather than blocks of 20. 
focus on blocks of 20. There, for example, was some day trading stuff I used to be doing. Now, you need to be thinking in a block of 20, all oh, right, in a block of 20, I made 50,000. I made that much gains, that much loss, that was my profit factor, that was the average winner, that was the average loser. Our multiples, win loss, win loss ratio, largest winner, 17,000, largest loser, 5,000. I won two in a row, and I lost two in a row sometimes. But you are a net winner. That is how you become a successful trader. Think in blocks of 20, um, have the right beliefs of successful trading, how trading really works, and have the right beliefs around money. Now, let's talk about this element, your identity. Who are you? Let me, I'll summarize it and I'll tell you it in this little quick story, okay? You, little simple story, quite entertaining and amusing. Here's how it goes. Scorpion sees the frog swimming in the water. Says to the froggy, he says, hey froggy, mate, do me a favor. Froggy looks at him in, a, in like st taking a step backwards. I don't know how you take a step backwards in water. So he swims backwards a little bit and says to him, yeah, what do you want? He says, hey froggy, do me a favor. Give me a lift on your back. Swim, give me a lift across the opposite side. I can't, I can't walk around there. It'll take me three days. Froggy says, I don't think so. You're a scorpion. So what's wrong with that? Scorpions sting people. I don't want, no thank you. He says, hey mate, listen, you lo you're not using your little froggy mind. You're going to get on your back. You're going to let me get on your back. Swim across, sting you. You'll drown. I'll drown. Why would I possibly do that? Think carefully about this. You do this for me, and I'll do you a favor one time. Froggy thinks, hmm, I'm not sure. Scorpion says, Froggy, come on, man. Just give me a quick, simple lift. I promise you I'll do you a favor back. I'm not going to do that and harm me and you at the same time. I'm not like that. Froggy says, all right, then I'll let you get on my back. Scorpion gets on Froggy's back. They start swimming across. They start swimming across. What happens? Scorpion lifts up his tail and stings the frog in his back. Frog goes, ah, why did you do that? Stings them again. Ah, why did you do that? The poison starts setting in and it starts drowning. He says, why did you do that? We're both going to die. And he says, because I'm a scorpion. And that's what scorpions do. We sting people. Understand, everybody has a blueprint in their mind. You want to know more about this? Read this book, Psycho Cybernetics by Maxwell Maltz. Brilliant book. Listen, you are only going to do actions that are consistent with your identity, which is why the following thing. There is a massive difference between someone that says, I haven't smoked for 10 years, and someone that says, I am a non-smoker. The person that says to you, I haven't smoked for 10 years is telling you something about who they are. They are still a smoker. They are likely to smoke. The person that says, I'm a non-smoker, has divorced themselves from the identity. Identity is who you are, your being. You're going to do consistently everything aligned with who you believe you are. But here's what most people say. I want to have financial freedom. I want to have money. I want to have a monthly income. I'm going to trade, and then I'll become a good trader. It doesn't work that way. Because if you don't see yourself as a successful trader right now in your mind's eye, it ain't going to happen. You know why? As I said, you're not going to get anything that you want. You're only going to get more of who you are. Which is why if somebody sees themselves as poor, broke, struggling, they're going to get more of that. How do you see yourself? You have to first be that person and see yourself in your mind's eye as that person. You will then do the things consistent with that which will give you the result. I'll tell you how I use this information. I finished university, and as a student, I read and studied these principles and realized I could use this to my advantage. I then saw I did a series of things to see myself, from creating a business card, creating a movie, installing images in my mind, mentally rehearsing, um, mentally thinking, how do I see myself, and changing the picture to see myself in a particular way. I saw myself as financially free. I saw myself as an investor, a trader, and a TV presenter. Within a short amount of time, I was. I had a friend who could present just as well as me. We used to practice at university. He did a degree in graphics, art, and design. And he says, one day I'm going to be a TV presenter. No matter what skill he had, no matter what capability, no matter who he had contacts with, he has never done it. I've done it, and I finished doing it. So I went from being a network entertainment famous television presenter in the UK, and I've done it. But it was all about how I saw myself. It was my identity, which is why, which is why when, poor, when most poor people win the lottery, how they see themselves, they saw themselves for years in their unconscious mind as poor or struggling. You give them the money, the brain will be aligned with how you see yourself. You give you a system 
You're not going to be able to execute it until you learn how you see yourself, which is why when the rich, successful person, the entrepreneur, the Donald Trumps of this world, you lose the money, they don't see, they go, That's, this isn't me. I don't see myself this way. And you even hear them say that. People go, oh, this isn't me. This isn't me. And they go back to how they see themselves. So you first start with, how do you see yourself? Some people describe themselves in terms of their emotions. Some people define themselves in their roles, their job, their metaphors, or feedback, or their accomplishments, or who they're not. Do you see yourself right now, in your mind's eye, as a successful financial trader, investor, and entrepreneur, who only does what the best does, and you always consistently follow your rules? If you're not seeing yourself like that, guess what? You ain't going to get that. You have to see yourself that way first. Then you will do the things that are consistent with that identity, which will give you the results. Does that make sense, everybody? Right. Then we have your values. What is truly important to you? Understand. This is why you could know everything in the world about stocks, trading, forex, investing, property, business, commodities, and yet still lose money consistently and fail to achieve your financial goals. Understand, here's what your values are. I'll give you the short version of this, okay? Your values are what you rank as most important to you. What I rank as most important to me and what you rank most important to you are not the same thing. Even members of your family consider things more important to each other. That system is our guiding system to say, first pay attention to this. That is what you're most focused, you're most disciplined, you're most reliable, you're most consistent, what you think about, what you're most productive, what you're most successful. You will then have a hierarchy of these things. They will determine what you see in the world, what you act upon the world, and the decisions that you make in the world. You are your most successful at the things that you value the highest, and you are least successful at the things that you value the least because there's only so much time, energy, and effort. And as I said, we all value things in a different way. You don't value what I value, and you don't, I don't value what you value. You don't necessarily value what successful traders and investors value. And do you know how I know that? Because you'd be doing exactly what successful traders and investors do. You'd be, that's where you'd be most focused, most disciplined, most reliable. And until you have those values, you won't be doing the things that you need to do. Your energy, your focus, your commitment will be on the things that you value the most. Let me give an example of how this works. Let's imagine my wife and I go shopping in a, in a shopping mall. You call, you call it a mall in America, correct? Yeah? Right, here's what we call it, a shopping centre. My wife has a value on children's education, children's entertainment, children's toys, the home furnishings, exercise, does this make sense? Socialising. I have a value on education, financial education, mindset, trading and investing, uh, and, and empowering people, right? And that's how it works. And then going to the gym, stuff like that. Now, here's what happens. Your values will determine what you see in the shops, in the shopping mall. My wife, she's going to see something completely different because her values will determine what she sees, what she pays attention to, or what she acts upon. My values are going to determine what I see. I'm not going to see what my wife sees because she's going to have a different experience in the same thing, which is why you can have two people looking at the same system with completely different values, not seeing the same thing. I don't care if someone says to you, here's where you get in. You're not going to see what they see unless you value it. If you have the right set of values, you will see the money-making opportunity. That's what your brain will pay attention to because what is going on on the inside. So you could have a goal to become financially free, a successful trader investor. But if your values are not aligned with what your goals are, it ain't happening. As I said, the things that are highest on your value is what you find easy to do where you create results, it's where you're most disciplined, it's where you're most organized, it's where you're most dedicated, you'll get up early, you find the energy to do it, you spend most of your money on it. The things that are low on your value require external motivation. You'll find them hard to do, you'll be disorganized, you'll be not disciplined, not energized doing it, you'll be unfocused, you're, oh God, I've got to do this thing. So understand, your life is screaming at you right now what you truly value and it's showing you this in terms of where are you successful ask yourself right now where am I successful where am I successful in my life where am I most energized what do I absolutely love doing 
because that is what you true if you were financially free right now what would you truly do with your time and your energy and your effort it is an indication of what you truly value but understand and as I say and I'll say this again the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth if wealth if money if trading was one of your highest values right now you'd have it do you know why because you'd pay any price to do it you would travel any distance you do whatever it took you get up early you'd be disciplined you'd be organized you'd be focused and unless trading and investing the actual activity itself is one of your top five values then it's hard to almost virtually impossible to succeed at but that doesn't matter right if you have a true value on investing trading and investment money that's where you're going to spend your money most people as I said have a value not on that they have a value on education holiday travel socializing lifestyle family home etc so that's where their money their energy their focus goes to succeed at this game you have to have a value on trading its actual self you have to love growing wealth and money and stuff like that for the sake of it but most people grow it to buy stuff pay the bills and that works against them you not, I'm not saying you can't value those things they have to be below spending so you have a choice you either you either do one of the following things you either change your your values so you achieve your goals or you just set goals aligned with your values and it's as simple as that which is why the very famous person whose name I'm not allowed to say she says you've got to stop telling people my name because I keep finding up my company and the CEO keeps telling me off of this <laughs> right went from the trailer park to a financially free and a board member here's what we did I worked with her once she's accepted what her true values were rather than trying to fight them we aligned a couple of her values she then got out of her own way became incredibly successful so in summary how do you win the game okay I'm gonna tell you this is how you win the game as what we've just discussed mental rehearsal mental rehearse your system in a relaxed state most people are mentally rehearsing, losing, being wrong, messing up, and all those sorts of things like that. Okay? Mentally rehearse your system, doing the, the entry, the exits, the stops, the profit taking, everything in a relaxed state of mind. You need to then identify what are your limiting money beliefs and ask yourself, and then ask yourself, why is this belief not true or why is this ridiculous? You need to attach pain or, or ridicule it so that you stop thinking those stupid things about money and trading, investing. Then I'm going to say this. Stop thinking about what you want to have because that is not going to get you what you want. Focus on who you need to be and what you would be doing consistently that is aligned with that identity. The having will take care of itself. I'm going to tell you this. Four, ask yourself, where am I currently successful in my life? What do I really want the money for? These are an indication of what you truly value. You are either set goals aligned with your true values or you change your values so that you achieve your goals. And the fifth point is this. Think and trade your system in blocks of 20 and accept the five fundamental beliefs of trading and investing. Go and buy Mark Douglas's book and read that book. It will massively help you. I'm only giving you the quick summary of it, and that's what that is. So those are, the, those are my top key five tips today. Now, if it's okay, if it's okay with you, would it be okay for me to show you the even faster way to do this? and integrate all the changes that lead to high speed trading and financial success. Is that alright with everybody? Let me know because if it is, I'll quite happily tell you this. Let me introduce you to, thank you, okay. <laughs> Let me introduce you to the Millionaire Traders Mindset, your blueprint for financial success. I'll tell you what it is. This is the only 12-week step-by-step training program 
teaching traders and investors how to create a millionaire traders mindset that enables them to grow rich and profit from the markets. This powerful program will give you all the strategies, the psychological strategies for high speed success that enable you to create consistency in your financial trading by giving you a millionaire traders and investors mindset. You are literally going to completely rewire your thinking for good in only 12 weeks. So in this course, here's what the, this high impact, powerful, but yet simple course, here's what you're going to discover. You're going to discover how to create and install a mindset that enables you to extract money from the financial markets, your investments and your market sector. You're going to learn the four critical elements of guarantee success in your trading and investing and integrating them step by step. You're going to learn how to operate without fear. You're going to learn the root cause of money trading investing problems and how to erase them. You're going to learn how to expose your, uncon your unconscious conditioning and rewire it to reach your full money making potential. You learn how to follow your trading plan flawlessly so that you create the financial destiny that you desire. You learn how to use the most powerful psychological techniques to date that enable the world's best money makers to succeed in their chosen field. You're going to learn, I know it's a lot, <laughs> you learn how to create a self-image that automatically enables you to become wealthy. You learn how to destroy limiting beliefs about money and replace them with beliefs that enable you to achieve your financial goals. You can discover what's holding you back from success that you desire and vanquish that and replace it so that you achieve it. You can learn how to install the set of values that rocket you and towards you towards wealth. You're going to learn how to avoid being one of the 9 out of 10 traders who fail. You're going to eliminate wealth the wealth-destroying desire of wanting to be right. You're going to eliminate the fear of losing, missing out, and all those other fears and much, much more. So what is this program? Listen, here's what it was, and here's what it is. One time I uh, took 20 high-paying clients, um, and I did this one-off seminar series with them, and I recorded it. And we created this results producing information on the psychology of trading strategies and everything like that. The, the psychology of trading, investing, the, like, their personal psychology. Nothing to do with the system, right? Nothing to do with the system. This was, this was just about them to transform themselves so they could execute any system that they were given. That fit them and their ideal life. Does this make sense? All right, so this was a one-off event and, and, and it's never to be held again, right? Now, and it pulled together 10 years of research and findings and results, etc. All, all extracted from some of the greatest minds. This is what I love doing more than anything. It's my highest value, studying how this really works, how the rich people think, what enables them to produce the results. And because they've all consistently said throughout the dawn of time, it is in the mind. But that is not is what's traditionally taught to people. So what happened was I synthesized this down into 24 hours of recorded information. Uh, which would normally cost you 100000 if you wanted to try to learn this all on your own. And it tells you, remember I showed you that graph? This is what gets your financial destiny. It covers all those things from the identity, the values, the reason, your beliefs about money, your self-image, your financial thermostat, and your emotional state. Let me give you an example of what happened to the people that went attended this course. Okay? So remember, uh, normally you get 1% of people succeeding. So the people that applied went to this course. One of them went off. The wife of a very famous, well-known financial educator attended this course, left her corporate job, and set up a, um, when I say vast, I'm talking hundreds of millions of pounds worth of international, uh, hundreds of millions of pounds worth company, an international energy company, a recycling company. I said to her, how did you do that? She said, I just did what you said. I just applied that to myself, and I was able to then get a team together and then create this business. There was the person, as I said, that lost all the weight, had the 30,000, getting the leader of a Fortune 500 company, six-figure check plus a massive bonus, and the investment skyrocketed to make 100% per year in the IRA. Um, a wife that was left a large sum of money, losing 100,000 a year, owning now went from that to owning a share in a hedge fund, and a prop firm is running the options desk in a hedge fund. Um, a team. Right, that they, these two teamed up together. Went from 25 years of debt, could never get out, to creating, to eliminating the debt, and creating a trading system, producing 5,000 per week from from the financial markets, and many, many, many more successes, just like this. So in this course, you're going to learn, you're going to learn how to break through all your limiting beliefs. You're going to then learn how to apply specific proven strategies for creating momentum in your trading. 
You then learn how to set standards and goals that model top producers, and you learn how to master your mind and emotions so that you trade without fear and trade in a carefree state of mind. Now, there's 12 modules to this. Each module is delivered on a weekly basis in the members area. Each module, every week, you get a fresh new module, which you can download in the members area, watch on online. You can watch it in, in, on your computer. You can watch it um, on your iPad. You can watch it on your phone. You can, so you can watch it on and offline. You can take, the good thing is you can go at your own pace. So what are these 12 modules? Let me just go for these very quickly, okay, so, because I appreciate your time. Listen. Week one is the fundamentals of how to master your mind and emotions. In here, you're going to learn how to eliminate stress and fear and feel relaxed and calm while trading. You're going to learn, and this is what they learned, and this is what transformed their financial life, how to install the professional traders in the zone attitude and feeling that creates financial consistency. You're going to learn how to vanquish the four primary trading mistakes that turns a winning system into a losing one. In week two, Week two is called how to install the empowering beliefs of successful traders and investors. And in this module, learn how to install the mindset and behaviors that create effortless trading execution. In week three, week three is about how to manage and master your time and set compelling goals. Why? Because this will enable you to turn your financial dreams into the reality that you desire through a plan that fits and works for you. You're going to learn how to tap into the force that creates unstoppable drive, focus, and the results of the top 1% producers. You can learn how to create a more compelling, fulfilling life by mastering your time and trading around your life rather than trading, living your life around trading, which is what most people want. They want to live, they want to have their life fit, they want to live their life around trading, they want trading to fit around their life. And that's what this is about. You are going to know by doing this module exactly what you need to be doing to achieve financial success. This year, this quarter, this month, this week, today. You'll have that blueprint plan. We'll create this together. In week four, you can discover the tr how to become the person you truly want to be in order to achieve your financial goals and trade and investing. You're going to take on the perceptions that top traders have that enables them to create financial consistency and grow their wealth easy and effortlessly. You're going to learn how to automatically program yourself so that you find yourself compelled to do what it takes to become financially successful and a successful trader. And you're going to eliminate the fears, your, um, the fear of losing money, because you'll know in your mind you're going to get it back, just like the world's most financial successful leaders. Do you understand? When you have that thought that it doesn't matter if you lose it, you're going to get it back, trading and investing becomes easy and effortless. In week five, when you apply this information, I'm not, I'm not, the reason why I say that, I'm not listening to this isn't going to change your life. Applying it is going to change your life. You're going to learn how to create um, the, the, the automatic compass which determines where you're going to be successful in life, which is you do with your values. Create an internal compass that forces you to focus on growing your income and building wealth. You're going to you see, as a result of this module, you're going to learn how to see more money-making opportunities by changing your values. You're going to be able to act on more money-making opportunities when you look at those charts and in your life in general. You're going to learn how to make better, and as a result of this, you'll make better money-making decisions of these opportunities. You'll create laser focus, predictability, and wealth-building discipline. Week six, and I appreciate time is pressing on. I better get through these very quickly, Patrick. You can discover what your negative beliefs are about money. So you're going to eliminate the hidden thoughts that cause 97% of traders to lose or install the secret thoughts that enable um, trading and wealth building to become effortless. You're programming yourself for money. Week seven, the secret relationship between wanting million, deserving million, and achieving millions. You're going to eliminate the self-sabotaging thought pattern that causes 97% of traders. And world builders to give the money back. Week eight, how to program your mind with made up experiences. You're going to learn how to program your mind and your behaviors from today onward to create a rich, money making, compelling future. You're going to hardwire yourself for financial success. In week nine, 
the secret to mastering self-discipline and instantly taking on the characteristics of elite traders and investors. This is the exact same information that those people took which transformed their life. Some people applied it to trading, some people applied it to business, some people tried it to their longer term investing, but the results were the same. The results were the results were the results. You're going to discover how to take the actions of elite traders that produce the results of the top 1%. You're going to become at ease with doing what once found hard to do so that you can't, you get better trading results. You're going to expand what's possible for you. You're going to install the discipline that creates top results producing traders. Week 10, unlock your inner wealth genius. Eliminate the problems that cause 97% of traders to fail. You're going to vanquish all those fears and worries that traders have. You're going to trade your winning system with consistency and avoid the mistake that 97% of traders make that cause them to turn a winning system into a losing system. Week 11, only two more. <laughs> right. You're going to master your mind power, powerful mentors and asset allocations to capture the market's biggest moves. How? You're going to have to control your mind so that wealth building and following your rules becomes easier. And then you're going to go, as a result of this, you'll be able to create financial stability so that growing wealth and financial freedom becomes easier. And week 12, oh, I love week 12, is about how to create a self-sabotage proof winning profitable system that fits you and your ideal life. Listen. I don't know if you know who Nicholas Davos is, but Nicholas Davos traded for 15 minutes, did what he loved during the day, traded at night, and made 2.5 million in less than two years. Adjusted to inflation, that's 18 million. We look at the main principles which enabled him to do that. So that you spend less time in front of your computer as you grow your account with a system that fits you. You spend more time doing what you truly love as you become financially free, and you trade time frames that enable you to become profitable 10 times faster. Listen. This is the same information that I have one-to-one -one clients pay me 100000 a year for. Being one of the world's best in my, in my field and knowing what I do, people pay me a lot of money for in order to access this information. I mean, this is David Elliott. David Elliott unfortunately passed away recently, but he was the world's number one market timer. Said, he doesn't even advertise his own stuff. But this is what the world's number one market timer says. He says, we don't even advertise our own stuff. So, you know I believe in this, right? This is the key ingredient, the evasive force that makes all the difference in your life. Make no mistake, this can transform your trading. And your trading will transform your life. Follow Patrick. You'll be amazed at how great a difference it can make to you. So, as I said, all of this, you can download from a member's area. Access it. Every single week, a new module that you can watch online or download. And you can stream at your own pace. You don't even have to watch it that week. It's up to you. You can go at your own pace. So there's 12 weeks, 12 modules. But on top of that, you're going to get $19,000, a genuine $19,000 of bonus products. Bonus number one, and I'll go through these very quickly. Here's what bonus number one is. You're going to get 12 months of live, live weekly group coaching and supplementary training so that you get the answers that you need to your specific challenge to apply in this stuff to you. So you ask me live, here's where I am Patrick, I can't seem how to work this out, how to get rid of this problem, how to do that. As long as you're on this program, I'm happy to answer your questions in that once a week group that we have, answer your questions. That's the same price that a group, my group coaching clients pay and I'm going to give you that as a bonus for buying and investing in this today. You're going to get access to the, the set of courses called Wealth Mission, Money Management, and Asset Allocation. Once you have a mission of reason bigger than yourself for creating money, and you manage your money correctly, money making becomes so much easier. You're going to get, bonus number three, the complete audio version of this program. So if you're traveling in your car, and you can't have access to it, but you just want to play it at your own convenience, then you've got access to it there. And bonus number four, in this community of people who will attend these groups, there's many people who are successful millionaires well on their way. You get to be able to connect and hear the thought patterns of successful millionaires, which is priceless. Because who you hang out with is who you become. So who's using this type of information? Let me tell you this. Institutions, top traders, investors, the financial elite. There's a famous market wizard who paid a million dollars per year to learn these exact strategies for the percentage of his winning because he couldn't stop, he wasn't winning. He applied, paid a million dollars to a consultant like myself, just like me, in order to teach him this so that he could come back to winning. Um, now understand this, most educators only teach one or two of these modules. You're not going to find this all together in one place and they charge up to $10,000 for this per module. Why? Because they're aware of the power of this type of information. So let's imagine I'm going to value, let's say that course I said to you is only 14,000. 
right? 15,000 value, right? Easily 15,000. You ask any of the people on the, who have done it, what if they, what, um, but well, thank you very much, JR. <laughs> Many people have done this because they say, I'd have paid 10 times that easily. So we're talking 14,000 for that, plus the, the bonuses, the $19,000 worth of bonuses. You're talking a total package value of 34,491. However, right? I'm not going to offer. You, I'm not going to charge you that. No way near. Right? And you're going to see why. I'm going to give you a ridiculous offer, and an offer in your favour. And here's why. Because I, Patrick Stockhausen, have achieved a lot of success in my life. Have a personal mission to create a private financial education institute. And in order to do this, I need to recruit the right people. And in order to do that, right? I need success stories. And I want your success story. Because if I can prove to them I can transform a lot of people's lives, the investment, the team, and everything I need to create this financial education is easy for me to do. So I'm going to prepare to sell you this training program at a ridiculously low price as long as you promise. You promise me. You'll be, you'll be, and when you become one of my success stories, you'll give me a video and a written testimonial. All right? That is the condition. So here, here's the thing. Before that's Ron Iannari from CNBC, Fox, BNN, Biz Radio, telling you that this, you know what, this guy's brilliant, etc., etc. This is why you should invest in this. We haven't got time to go for that. Look, I ain't charging you thirty-four thousand. I'm not going to charge anywhere near twenty thousand. I'm not going to charge anywhere near ten thousand. Nowhere near five thousand. And nowhere near two thousand. And I want you to understand this. I'm going to limit this to only right a hundred people worldwide. You can buy this today for only. $1,497, and that is it, that is it, right, now understand, as I said, I'm going to limit this, I'm going to pop the link in for you a second in order to buy this, limit this to 100 people maximum worldwide, because I'm getting told off by a business partner, saying, are you crazy for selling it for such a silly low price, and the people that attended the course are saying, we paid you a fortune for that, but on top of that, I believe in this so much, that I am happy to give you a 30-day money-back guarantee. Listen, if you're not completely satisfied after 30 days of applying this information, right? if you're not satisfied after 30 days of applying it, you just show me that you've applied it, turn up to the meetings and stuff like this, then I'll give you, I'll give you your money back, 100%. So the risk is on me. Okay? So I'm going to say this. Let me get the link for you and let me post that for you. Right, I'm happy to do that for you. This here, I'm going to invite you to join and become one of our group members. I invite you to join an elite group of traders who have acquired this mindset, who have transformed their financial destiny. This is the only complete step-by-step -step program of its type in the world. You can't find this absolutely anywhere. Right, uh, this is this is a unique opportunity. I'm happy to answer any questions you have with the little time that I have left here. There are two ways in which you can pay. You can pay of one four nine seven today, and you still get your you get all those bonuses. Understand, you will get some of these bonuses after 30 days. You will get access to additional bonuses. The, the connect with the the audio versions as you go along. The additional training comes after after the full course training. So you pay one four nine seven in one payment today, or if you want, you can pay three payments of five nine seven. That's one today, one in thirty days, and then one of those in sixty days. So that's the millionaire trader's blueprint mindset. Your blueprint for financial success. Another question came in. It says. Um... How does someone trade 15 minutes at night? They look at end of day data charts, looking at, uh, so you're basically looking at trend trading or swing trading, and you're looking, you're not doing day trading, you are literally looking at monthly charts, weekly charts, or daily charts only, and you are, are only managing, your, managing the positions. If it doesn't set up, if there's no setups, then there's nothing to do. It lit you have. Let's imagine if you had a watch list for 100 things, they're all not going to set up at the same time. So you have a, a criteria that you are looking at, and if that's not there, you don't do anything. You are only 
fo you are only executing this system of all oh, right that set up my entry signal place the the buy order in the in the in the trading platform and say to it when the price hits this buy it tomorrow for me and that is it you then come back at night time and you look at it great uh, Eric, hopefully that answers your questions. Uh, Ronald is asking, is the program available after 12 weeks' time? Is the program available? What does he mean by after 12 weeks' time? Oh, can you still, is he asking, can you still have access to it? I think so. I think that's his question. It's yours for life. It's yours for life. But understand, the f after 100 people buy this, in 12 weeks' time, it will not be that price, if that's what you're asking. Um, I'm in trouble already for selling it for such a silly price to the people that attended it. It's a kind of a, a slap in their face. But, um, yes, yeah, it's yours for life. You can access have access to that members area for life. You're going to be with me for a whole year making sure you integrate it. Many people, I've got people on it, they've been through it, and they go, they're going around it again because what you hear the second time isn't what you're going to hear the first time. They're going to go round and around and around. And each time you go through the course, you'll apply and you'll hear something different. You'll apply it to your unique situation. So until you've got 12 weeks of asking me questions, and I'll be answering those for you to help you.